According to the 2007 Census of Agriculture, there are almost 5,000 alpacas on 296 farms in Virginia. The industry is slowly growing since the principal income is from selling breeding animals and making clothing or fabric products from their wool. But make no mistake, Pigeon Creek Alpaca Farm is not a hobby for Debbie Woodcock. We have had some sales over the past couple of years, so that we're really excited about that. Um, so I think last year was my fifth year, and I actually had a small profit. Woodcock started keeping alpaca in 2004. She says it was quite a change from the cats and dogs that she raised growing up. I was a city girl and I, uh, my husband uh, found this piece of property and uh, we had set up the house and everything and decided that we'd like to do a little more with, with the property. A friend of mine had looked into alpacas so I kind of went shopping with her and that was it. I decided to go ahead and buy some. <laughs> it was their size and ease of handling that attracted Woodcock to alpacas. The animals are small enough for a single person to care for them, providing them daily food and water. The biggest adjustment for Woodcock was having to do most of the veterinary care herself. You keep your, your medicines on hand, you give your shots, you uh, help with the deliveries, you uh, do all of those things pretty much um, at the direction of a vet. A close relative of the South American llama, alpacas are prized for their soft wool that's used to make premium products like hats, scarves and gloves, even hiking socks. If you're looking at making money off of products right now and fleece, it will probably pay for your feed, your grain, your hay. Um, right now, the money is selling pregnant females to other farms to start their farms. In the future, Woodcock says the industry is hoping to flip that so that products bring in more money to owners. Right now, a whole fleece of soft wool could sell for $150. The most valuable animals are the ones with the softest wool. But while raising alpacas is a business, it's also fun. And they just have such sweet looking faces and the teddy bear fiber and uh, babies are just the sweetest things. They're so cute running around the field. So that kind of hooked me. <laughs> and Woodcock hopes more folks get hooked on alpacas so her industry can grow. In Spotsylvania County, I'm Norm Hyde.